Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how I run the hard underwater cave on the island. I'm going to show you all the drop locations and where to get the artifact. I'm running this cave in under 5 minutes by using a speed basil. This is just a bread basil, so it has the 120% movement speed from the imprint, and then I put like 40 levels into it in the movement speed, and just I haven't done the rest because I just want to show you that you don't need too much to make this work. But you do want to get like a decent level basil at the very least because having low stamina is terrible for this strategy. You just are going to stam out and die to a bunch of sharks. Uh, if you don't know where the cave is, it's here on the east coast to the right of the swamp here if you're looking at it from the ocean. And then it's just right down below the water here. So let's get into it. You're going to need some scuba gear obviously. You only need one tank but I like to bring two just in case I get clapped and lose my tank. I'm not going to die from drowning. But this strategy is basically we're going to just kite around the enemies, all the sharks and dunkleos that aggro to you, the alpha sharks, and we're just going to run away and hop off, grab the drop, get back on, and keep running. It's pretty normal to do this with an ichthy, but ichthys can get stunned by jellyfish and electrophorus, and it's honestly really stressful. So the first drop location here is right here under this bridge. I don't see one. The second one here is to the left here where those jellyfish are hanging out. There's another drop location right here. And then there's a drop location right here. I'm not finding them yet. And then down on the ground here, I'm not exactly sure. I think it's somewhere around here, right past this rock. There'll be a drop. And I'm pretty sure I know all the drop locations. I could be wrong. There's always three drops that spawn in this cave. I've never seen two. It's just... But I just learned of this drop here. I've ran this cave a ton, and I've never seen that happen. So I'm going to kite around these piranha. Luckily, we didn't get really aggroed by those sharks over there. They didn't follow us around, but... It really wouldn't have mattered, because I'd just be kiting them just like this. Right, those piranhas are kind of close, but they're just piranhas, so I'm not too worried. Let's just hop off, grab and go. Seems pretty easy now, but it'll get a little bit more sketch. So we come around here into this hallway, where there's three <laughs> alpha sharks. Nice. And then there'll be a drop right here in this grass. There'll be a drop, like, on the floor of the hallway, somewhere around where those sharks are. And then there's two mirroring drops right here where this yellow drop is. There'll be one, like, over here on this side. And now I'm just gonna... I'm gonna swim by the drop. It's definitely always good to do, because, you know, sometimes stuff spawns in walls in art caves. So that'll aggro it to you. And then we're just gonna do a nice little lap. And the one good thing about the basil also opposed to the ichthy is that when you get off the basil you just like pop up right where you were sitting the ichthy just launches you to the side so fast and then you have to swim back to it and it's really rough like if i got launched there then those alpha sharks would have caught up to me no problem and the reason i don't like fighting everything in this cave is for this reason right here these dunkleos spawn or not spawn, but they aggro to you when there's alpha sharks around. Usually they're passive or neutral, but when the alpha sharks are around, it makes them aggressive. And they take forever to kill because of the alpha boost and the natural armor that they have. So if I'm not mistaken, the last drop should be here. Down in this hole. This is also where the artifact room is. Yeah, there's the last drop. This is the hardest one to get, because this is such a tight hallway. Definitely harder to run around past everything. So there's no alpha sharks this time. Down here. That was kind of hard to thread. See, that one was perfect. I popped up just looking at the drop. It's also one thing you can do. I'll show you. I don't know if this is on everything, I'm on Windows 10, but when you open 
were they in the walls or just hiding in that little crack right there? So I'm kind of nervous about grabbing the drop here. Not the drop, but the artifact. All right, everyone else stopped aggroing to me. Let me make sure I'm not going to get clapped. Okay, sorry, I was flubbing around. What I was trying to say is that your mouse is in the last location you left it. So if you open up your Basil's menu and put it over the transfer all, then you can just have it sitting there waiting for you when you open a drop. So like that, close your menu, and now when I go and grab this artifact, it'll just be right there. I really don't need to do that for the artifact, because there's only going to be one thing in there anyway. So we're going to be real careful here, sprint over here. Grab that, it's on the transfer all. Now i got to get up and around before I get trapped in this corner. But yeah, no problem. So that's another little trick you can do to make it a little bit faster. I'm on Windows 10, I don't know if that is the same on everything but it's a nice little trick to have to make it a little bit quicker so i'm back here by this starting bridge that basically explained everything there's just this big room here that had all those drop locations if you keep going to the back there's that hallway then you come back and then go down and go down into that hole to grab the last drop you really hope it doesn't spawn there because that's definitely the riskiest one since it's so tight but I'm sure that if you came in here with a couple bread squids that were mate boosted, you could get through here just as fast and actually a little bit safer. But this is just a little bit less investment than that, and you can probably do this like a little bit earlier into the game. So this is why I like this strategy, and it's very comfortable. I can sit here and talk to you while I do it. Okay, so that was the hard underwater cave. That really took no time and would have been even faster if I wasn't talking about it and showing you things. I think it's a pretty good strategy and I haven't seen other people talking about it on YouTube, so that's why I feel like sharing it. If you want to see other tips that I have, go ahead and subscribe. And also, if anything changes in Arc Ascended or Arc 2, well, I guess the island won't be on Arc 2, most likely, but I'm going to be sharing tips. I'm going to keep uploading videos. Subscribe if you want to see those. Like if you liked the video and this helped you out. And comment down below if you have any questions or just anything you want to say. See you later.